Hello everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part 5 of our 5 video series designing St. Patrick's Day nails. I'll be decorating my index, middle, and pinky finger. Our intent today is to do a, base, a strip, a basic infill, and um, build out the tip changing it from stiletto to ballerina tips. So this video is just going to be the nail straight and forward video. Um, if you wanted to go see the this exact same video with the Sims 4 on there um, doing the 100 baby challenge, just click on over to um, that video. Um, to watch it But I'm just gonna take my um, Course card by bit and I'm just going to Scrape away at the layers of um, these nails to get them down uh, thin and to remove uh, the design that I um, Encapsulated in there So we're going by layer by layer, and um, it's actually coming off fairly easily. Um, but as you can see, uh, what is happening with the starfish is exactly what I didn't want to do when I was doing the design, which is why it's thick, because I wanted to be sure that we did have coverage because it was sticking up a good amount from the nail um, but anyway so as you can see it's taking a bit to strip down um, pass through to the design but you know what I always try to do is if I can salvage a nail I would so that is exactly what um, I'm doing I'm going to be stripping this down and reshaping the nail to be a completely different tip. And again, it's coming off pretty easy. I was a little shocked actually. I thought that just the, the thickness alone wouldn't give me a hard time, but it really didn't. The throat is like just so dry. Anywho, I'm switching to my safety bit um, so I can get closer to my cuticles. And this safety bit is just so awesome. Um, it really decreases the amount of fear I have of like shaving off my <laughs> my um, skin. But yeah, we're just going to continue doing this and removing um, any remaining um, pieces of that design. If you hear me clicking or typing away, I'm actually posting um, the same video with The Sims on there. But yeah, this is... Um, and I didn't even, like, to be honest, like, I kind of skimped out on some really good filing because, um, looking back now, I see that some nails are just way too bulky for my liking. Sorry. 
So anyway, um, moving down the files, just making sure that my edges are crisp and that I have um, a smooth surface and an even surface. And you also have to pay attention with that because sometimes you tend to put uh, more product in certain spots of your nail depending on which hand you're using. But yeah, I mean, this is the bulk of it. So again, like as I'm kind of sitting here and um, thinking about ways to do these videos, um, I could totally cut out some stuff, but I feel like sometimes you need that in there because um, some people won't get how you got from one point to another. So, I don't know. This is definitely a learning process. And, um, I mean, I personally like seeing all this stuff. Um, just because I think some people have a misconception about filing and how much filing you're doing. And we're, I mean... I'm doing a lot of it. Um, it's a, ne a necessary evil. Um, so people shouldn't think that, oh, you get like any old random um, memory board and then you just, you know, swipe on your nails a few times and it's done. Nope. Never. But anyway, I'm using my um, cone-shaped carbide bit. And I am just getting rid of all the loose stragglers here. Um, there's some minor lifting and um, just clearing away some debris caked on there. But um, the two bits that I personally like are the safety bit and the cone bit just because... Um, they have that safety element where like if you put it close to your um, cuticle you won't or skin you won't feel um, you don't really feel anything there I go with the clicking I'm just taking my cuticle pusher and pushing them back. And this cuticle pusher wasn't that bad at all. It was um, my first time using it really, so... Um, I wasn't too sure how it was going to be. I definitely didn't want to get cut or anything. And I'm just um, going in with my e-file to um, just push back the dead um, cuticle skin. A little bit more before I clip it off as you see here and then now I'm just using some dehydrator and we'll be using some Probond Acid-Free Primer. 
And I'm going to be taking um, my nail forms. Because once we do our infill, we're going to be building out the tip to look like a ballerina tip. The weather has been so crazy. I'm like freezing right now. Well, not right now. I think I have been. <laughs> not super freezing, but uncomfortable freezing. Like, I rather have warmth than cold. So, um, just last week the weather was just so nice and it was nice and warm. And now we're back to like cold rain. Not much fun. But, back to the matter at hand, so I am just um, building the tip up, and it, you know, if you're doing this for the first time, it does feel like, oh my gosh, I'm screwing it up, and then, you know, you can see that little piece um, on this nail, it's right in the middle, you can see the stiletto, and you'll probably think, oh my gosh, it's not gonna blend. But it does, so, um, not too bad. Oh, I think I caught a little bit of Dexter. But, um, this is my second recording on this um second video so i did um this the sims version on my desktop and that's done and over with um but um uh, having to do this on my phone for some reason the voiceover wasn't loud enough or i don't know what happened but um, everything that I had said throughout the video, I couldn't even hear, so here I am a second time around, um, trying to do this voiceover and hopefully it sticks. <laughs> but yeah, so... I'm just continuing on with my, um, my building. So this is, um, this part is relaxing to me because I'm building something. Um, but at the same time, it's a nerve-wracking thing because I need to make it look perfect. So, caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh my gosh, I think I just realized why they say it like that. <laughs> oh dear. Things you learn while talking. You can see in my hard gel pot, there's like a little bit left, but there's always been like a little bit left for months now. So, um, yeah. But I am, um, not really, but kind of counting the days, um, when it runs out so that I can start up the next system, which I believe will be um, soft gel uh, full coverage tips. 
I've always wanted to try that. I tried to like do that with the static nails that I bought, but um, that didn't quite work out well. So we're gonna um, just keep on filing away here. So one of the um, things that I have to watch when I do file is that I tend to like over file onto the next nail, which kind of, you know, scuffs it up. I got to figure out a way not to do that. Um, sometimes I get file happy and I just um, end up doing it anyway, so... And those... Um, Daylight savings time nails are still um, holding on strong. Now I moved on to a buffer. I'm just going to be doing that to my nail. And I think this is the last finger slowly but surely getting there I mean trust me like as tedious and dreadful um, filing is it's such a necessity um, and a must do So normally I would cut into this time, but um, it's really only three nails, which isn't too bad. But as you can see, they're really shaping up. The longer the nail is, the kind of more delicate you need to be when filing. Um, if you apply too much pressure, you can end up breaking the nail. I mean, even if, um, this is more so when, like, you haven't rebuilt it yet and you just stripped it because that's the time when it's, um, pretty weak. So you just have to worry about that. But yeah, just cutting through these nails, like, there's no tomorrow. So after nail cleansing, I'm putting a layer of foundation gel on each of the three nails. And um, I'm doing this top side and under side. Then we're going to be applying the Chic White Nail Polish by Jellish. And we're going to be applying two coats on each nail.
So for these nails, I'm going to be putting a matte top coat. And this way, whatever we put on it, it'll pop out more at you. So now I'm going to go take my baller tool and some clear top coat and I'm going to make um, three points together. And we're just going to do this on the entire nail. And what's great about this too, especially with gel polishes, is that if you're laying down this stuff um, and you don't like it and want to redo it, you can just wipe it off with a lint-free wipe and some nail cleanser. The only drawback to this is that because it's clear on white, um, it's really hard to see uh, what your design looks like. So after we place these dots on the nail, we'll be going into our pot of Lucky Green. We're going to be sprinkling this over the entire nail so that it'll get caught by the um, clear nail polish that we put on there. And I'm just going to generously pour this on there and then tap off the excess give it a cure, and then brush off the rest. So one nail down, two more to go. So for the middle finger, we are going to do one large um, shamrock, and we'll copy the same method of um, sugaring over the clear top coat and giving that a cure and then brushing off the excess. So this is me out of frame a little bit, but yeah. So I think I'm slowly but surely getting better at my line work. Um, not that I'm doing anything crazy, but at least I feel like I have more control and it doesn't feel as awkward as it um, used to feel. And we're going to sprinkle the glitter over it. And this is one huge shamrock, so I just want to make sure that I covered the whole thing. So 
Next, we'll be moving on to the index finger, and for this, we're going to repeat the same design that's on our pinky. So we have two sides. Um, it's crazy how still sometimes I go out of frame. Um, it's amazing. But yeah, we're just going to be putting down the three dots of our nail, on our nail. Um, I was taking a detail brush to draw the stem, but um, I think I'm just going to go a little whimsical and um, not be precise because in my pinky nail it kind of muddied together so that was a little disappointing so almost done with this one and then we're going to pour the green glitter over it. See here, I'm taking a detailed brush and I'm just putting a line there at this point because it's so tiny and so tight in there already that like me putting a stem just muddied everything. I'm going to take um, the green glitter and sprinkle it on the nail. And then we're going to tap off the excess and give it a cure. Brush off the excess. And this is the end result. I'm going to be putting um, cuticle oil on each nail and rubbing it in. And I'm trying not to get the um, cuticle oil to touch the um, white matte nail just because I don't know exactly what will happen if it'll be permanent or not so yeah just giving this a good rub So I hope you enjoyed um, this week-long adventure of um, splitting up my St. Patrick, Patrick's Day nail design. This is the finished look. It's so interesting, so unique. I love the sneak portions of it. This is Isms by Josie. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And I'm looking forward to doing the next video. Thanks. Bye.